See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Our brothers and sisters, welcome. Uh, we're celebrating today's Mass for the 16th Monday of Ordinary Time. My brothers and sisters, before we get started, uh, as usual, I'm going to invite you to have your guardian angel. And we'll soon pray the guardian angel prayer to have your guardian angel come celebrate Mass and bring back to you all the extra blessings that they can carry. O guardian angel at my side, go to the church for me. Kneel in my place at Holy Mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At holy consecration's bell, adore with seraph's love, my Jesus hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. When the priest communion takes, O oh, bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest in mine, and I his temple be. Amen. Welcome, everybody. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy and us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent and hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, did anybody want to do the first reading? I'm sorry, I should have asked this before we began. I didn't I'm going to do it then. All right, we'll do it. Um, you go ahead. Okay, let me, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to coordinate a little bit better next time. Thank you. I'll read from the book of the prophet Micah. Hear what the Lord says. Arise, present your plea before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, O mountains, the plea of the Lord. Pay attention, O foundations of the earth. The Lord has a plea against his people, and he enters into trial with Israel. O my people, what have I done to you? Or how have I wearied you? Answer me. For I brought you up from the land of Egypt, from the place of slavery I released you. And I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow before God most high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with myriad streams of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my crime, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? You have been told, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you, only to do the right and to love goodness and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the, the upright I will show the saving power of God. God. Gather my faithful ones before me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself is the judge. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats, out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me, and to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Or read it from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some of the scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you, he said to them in reply. An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, except the sign of Jonah the prophet. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. 
of the judgment the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And there is something greater than Jonah here. At the judgment the queen of the south will arise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome, everybody, again. Um, you know, it's not so much that Jesus is condemning or, or trying to do away with practices such as uh, asking for signs in order for us to kind of know what God is looking for in our life. Um, but even more so uh, against the scribes and the Pharisees uh, who, who, no matter what signs he gives them, are not going to convert. They're not going to change their hearts. They're not going to look interiorly to say, what, what are you getting at here? And there's something deeper going on in me in you and everybody uh, as we connect with Jesus. There's always a deeper. Um, matter of fact, that's why uh, the, the, the program, The Chosen, uh, one of the reasons I love it so much is because of the, uh, the connection that I feel, at least when I watch, and I think other people are saying the same thing, like when you see the character's interaction with Jesus, if you watch the eyes of Jesus, he's got some amazing eyes, and it's just kind of like that sense of God penetrating your heart as you're listening to this, as you're looking at the conversion of the people. Uh, there's St. Mary Magdalene, uh, who we celebrated this weekend, uh, who, who, who in one of the first two or three episodes, uh, the Lord is like healing her from the demons, and they don't specifically say that, but you kind of see his eyes, you kind of see the transformation in her. You see her going from being afraid and, uh, of life and the things that are afflicting her to being freed, uh, and that's what the Lord is looking for for everybody. But these people in his time, and he's specifically saying, you know, you're coming looking for a, for a sign, for a miracle. You want so much to see this next great thing, but you're not taking into account the miracles I've already showed you. You're not taking into account what I've already done for you. You're not, you're not gaining anything, but you're not looking at God. And, and what he says here is beautiful, as always, of course, as Jesus, it's God. Uh, the queen of the south will rise with this generation and condemn it, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. She traveled a long distance and brought a lot of money uh, to Solomon just to see, was it true that he had the wisdom that he had? And he did. Of course, Solomon, in his limited wisdom, I mean, was, his wisdom was great, uh, but he allowed his heart to kind of move away from God. Uh, and, and, and so he wasn't as close to God as he could have been, I believe, from, the, from everything I've seen. Uh, no, no condemnation to Solomon. I'm not his judge. I'm just saying that some of the things that he was trying to do politically to, to build his whole world uh, was kind of leading him away from God in certain ways. Uh, but, but even with his wisdom, as great as it was, Jesus is saying there is something greater than Solomon here. Wow, what an understatement. What an understatement. You're talking about God. Uh, way greater than any of us, because if you are the creator, uh, you're definitely going to be greater than a created. Uh, but he loves his creation. He loves us. He loves you. He loves me amazingly. And so that's the call in his heart. And by the way, I mean, there are times, here's the thing. I've had people tell me that, hey, I prayed to St. Therese because she was really good about this, where I prayed to St. Therese, I asked for a specific sign. I wanted a yellow rose to tell me if this thing was true or not. And I've read stories where a person actually, you know, I'm praying about this and I'm asking God uh, and I'm asking St. Therese to intercede that I might receive the sign I'm looking for as a gift from her, from God, to know that this is what they want. Or this is what God desires of me in this choice. Um, and I've heard people say that, wow, it was amazing. I actually received the yellow rose. I know there's different formats. You know, somebody received a little card in the mail and it had a yellow rose picture on it. So it wasn't actually a real rose. So, well, did you ask for a real rose or did you ask for a, a card? You know, uh, so it can be very specific, can be very benign. But the beauty in what God is doing is this. We don't have to have that to let us know. Here's the deal. Let's say if you ask for a yellow rose to tell you if you should go visit your grandmother or not, uh, and, and your yellow rose doesn't come in the period you figure it should in a week or two weeks, and you think it's like, geez, should I really go visit my grandmother? Well, what does your heart tell you? If you're, you're missing rose, but you're kind of like, well, maybe I'll go visit grandma anyway. Well, maybe you should go visit your grandma anyway. No, please do. Honestly, if you got a grandmother, go visit her. And if you can't visit her, maybe maybe help her set up Yahoo or Zoom or, uh, not Yahoo, Zoom or one of those uh, uh, social Skype or something where you can actually see her and she can see you if you can't go visit her in the nursing home. Uh, you, we need to. We need to visit anybody in our lives that is especially the ones that are, are, are hidden away from society. But having said that, whatever the decision is, that's the beautiful thing. And if you did get a yellow rose and you're like, hey, I got my yellow rose, but now I'm kind of like, oh, geez, I got the yellow rose, but I don't feel so comfortable about this choice I'm about to make. And I've talked to other people and they're like, that's a really bad decision. Well, then I don't have to, I don't have to claim that, well, I got the yellow rose. I guess I have to do something that is against what is in my heart already telling me not to. 
And the people that are saying things, and I feel inside, man, these people are right. I really shouldn't do this thing. Well, then don't. That's the beauty of the gift. It's the beauty of the gift, and, and the Lord gives it to us, and we can look at it and say, well, maybe this isn't for me. Um, and how do I feel when I receive what I asked for? How do I feel when I receive what I asked for? Uh, that's kind of where we're coming from, to talk to somebody uh, that, that, that knows God, that you believe knows God, uh, and let them, let them help you process what you're looking at if you're trying to make that definitive decision. That's what God does for us. Yes, he may give us roses, but he also gives us people to help us know when the Holy Spirit's moving, is this for me or not? So that's a little bit different than what the Lord was doing today, but he was talking about signs in particular. Uh, and so we don't have to go along with what the signs we think are telling us as much as, as following what is in our hearts, which is in a way why we really don't need the signs to begin with. Uh, we just need God. But it is nice to have signs at times. I won't be the first person to admit that. Uh, and therefore, that could certainly be a gift from God. Uh, if that helps us to make up a decision to better follow and serve God, then yes, it was definitely from God. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us now lift up our intentions to our Lord. For the intentions of our entire church, starting with the Pope, working its way down through our, through our hierarchy, through everything, that we might all continue to serve God and continue to encourage other people uh, through what the church has given us to follow God as well. Through Jesus Christ, we praise the Lord. Lord, Lord we are Lord. For today's Mass intention, for Father Michael Joseph Nguyen and for his family, anybody that... Uh, um, that he has left behind, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those people in the Mass Intention prayer list, I have a few extra names today, or a few new names. We have Rick, Mike, Ramon, David, uh, and also Brady, a little boy that's in Children's Hospital. Uh, so for all these people, uh, we pray, and, and everybody else in our prayer list, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Uh, also, for, for, for the great gift of human life, human dignity would be recognized in everybody from from, from, from conception to natural death, no matter what a person looks like, color, belief system, thought process, uh, whatever, that everybody be recognized as having invaluable gifts and talents and, and love of God because of God loving us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Uh, does anybody else have anything you would like to add today? Any intentions that uh, maybe I'm not thinking about? Yeah. For Miss Beryl in the nursing home, uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the poor souls in purgatory, for our blessed mother, the tantrums, and for all her beloved priests, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, for all these intentions that we've mentioned, but also all those in our hearts, Lord. There are so many other things that we forget about. Uh, for the people that have asked for our prayers and maybe we've forgotten, or that we have remembered and we're praying for them. Also for the people that we know need our prayers, Lord. Uh, for those people that we feel already inside that we need to pray for, that you would gift us with the grace of continuing to pray for everybody in that respect. And also for the people that we have forgotten to pray for, that you would accept this prayer as a fill-in for the people we forgot to pray for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you have told us, O oh God, what is good, that we should do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly before you. Make us single-hearted in your service, that kindness may overflow, justice reign over all, and humility carry us to your presence, for you live and reign now and forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands. The praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all, this holy church. O oh God, when the one perfect sacrifice brought the completion buried offerings of the law, accept, we pray, the sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, 
so what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created mankind. And when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, the Saint Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Praise us, peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. You should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those of you at home, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you, and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to new newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, Amen. defend us in battle. Amen. Be Amen. our protection Amen. against the wickedness and snares Amen. of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Do thou, O Prince, the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits, for I'll corrupt the world, seek into our souls. Amen. God bless you all in a great day and a great week as well. Thank you, Father.